This is the Geneva Shore Report coming to you from the Ridge Hotel, which is about five minutes north, or I'm sorry, west. five minutes west of Lake Geneva on Highway 50. It is the portal to the Ice Castle, where people coming to see the Ice Castle generally stay and get a package deal. If you're going to the Ice Castle today, well, bundle up, you know, in many layers, because it is cold as heck out there. Anyway, we are here on... It is Thursday morning, February 20th, 2020. I'm Lisa Otto. Jen Lefkowski. And George Bush Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. We are here for the Thursday morning news report. So, in the news, okay, I have to talk about this. Last night was a Piers Harbor and Lakefront Committee meeting and very informative. It was all about the lake, all about the Riviera, and... And well, okay, so we have an update on the pier conditions. The harbor master did a fabulous job. Linda Frame is, she's wonderful. She's yeah, really she is on the terrific. job. Um, and most of the piers need a lot of maintenance and repairs. And all the catwalks also um, need a lot of maintenance as well. They're very slippery. So she has found a company that will redo the catwalks and paint them with like a gritty material added oh. into the paint to make them. Um, much safer like for sand. everyone. Right. Yeah, and it, which I can't idea. believe that no one's ever done that before. Yeah. What do you mean? They, they don't normally have that. In the 60s, we used to use sand in our paint on the decks of ships all the time. Okay, well, they haven't done it in Lake Geneva for a Lake long no time. Well. So, so anyway, that is going to be taken care of. She is on the job, and piers will be in tip-top condition this spring and summer. And then as far as the Riviera, MSI came and did an update on how things are going. So as far as the roof goes, things are moving along really nicely and they're very um, pleasantly surprised because the, the um, plyboard and leakage areas that were under the concrete tiles are much less severe than they originally thought. So there will be a that little savings, a little savings going on with that job. Um, and the window sills are in much better condition. What than did the they decide about the windows? The big deal. I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. I hate these. Okay, so um, the windows, they are waiting to hear back from SHPO, which is the Historic Society. They have given them all the information. What information? They either keep the small windows or they get big ones. Well, they gave them all the information on all of the historic. Um, how they're keeping up with all of the historic. But not if they put in the big windows, they aren't. Well, no, that's not a, that's not true because some of the historic buildings have bigger windows like that. A lot of them do, and some have smaller ones. So it is up to the Historic Society. They are going over all of the things and that the Riviera is having done and how they're staying um, in regulation with all of the other historic Issues. So they're trying to plead their so case. So they're trying to, to plead their case. The so if they do enough of larger windows. enough of um, other things that go along with the historic society, the historic society might be more lenient on the size of the windows. Hasn't the historical society already said that they nope. don't want the big windows? They have not given a final decision. Oh, okay. They may work with them. So that is what they're working on right now, and they're waiting to hear back from them. So by the next meeting, we will have an answer. Okay. So no answer yet. And the first floor renovations, still no decision made on those. They're waiting to find out about the windows before they find out any more. Which makes sense. Right. Yeah. But then they also talked about a winter market in the Riviera during the off season on the main floor, which might be really fun to do. That's but a great idea. Yeah, that's still in just the talk phase. Okay, I have more like stuff. Sorry, guys. Nope, go so, on. Um, a winter market, like a farmer's market? What do yeah. they sell? Popsicles? <laughs> <laughs> it, it would most likely be um, craft vendors. Oh, and well, okay. Who knows? Maybe some bacon vendors. Bacon yeah. Fest is coming. No, the don't Riviera. start me off on the Lake Geneva Regional <laughs> News Bacon Fest. A little oh. hot cocoa, a little bacon. Listen, remember that we have to put in our... our uh, yeah, we need to come up with an yes, event. Yes, we do. Yeah, we, we do. We need a great event. We do. Well, speaking of events, really quick, Spreckers has theirs today, their fundraiser for Lakeland Animal Shelter. A portion of all the proceeds today will go back to the shelter. And you might get to meet some of the animals, too. Cream yeah. Puff Derby. We could do the Cream Puff Derby. Oh. And have cream puffers. Cream puffs are good. Okay. That's an um, idea. 
Sparkers, back to Sparkers. Yes. They have great lunch menu right now. They do. They have it's a fabulous. Yeah, they have like um, for nine ninety nine, you get like all these different things that you can. Yeah, it's pick and choose. So great lunch menu. Okay, so back to the lake. Kent from Elmer's Boat Rental Boat Boat Rent. Yeah, Boat Line. He was there once again, pleading his case about moving his pier slips all to one side of the pier, um, which. They did um, approve and it will go to FLR. But then they also talked about the other buoys and boat slip rentals. Um, prices could change a little bit. They haven't finalized that. But any boat commercial um, rentals along the piers, any of those companies, which is Gage, um, Elmer's, and another one, Marina, oh, um, Marina Boat Rental, I think it's called. Um, any of those that are subleasing, any of those boat slips or, yeah, boat slips and buoy slips, if they're subleasing them, they could be taken away. That's going to the FLR. Yeah, because that doesn't make any sense. It, yeah. The city right. should be making the money. Exactly. Right. Well, and then there's only one commercial That's boat slip doing that. that is doing that. So we'll find out how that goes and... I'm sure there's going to be someone who's unhappy about this. But anyway, that's all I have on the lake. Besides, it's 29 days till spring. And almost daylight savings time. 17 days till daylight savings time. So, it's that's coming. right. It's coming. It's coming. Thank you. All right. Oh, and Monday, we have the meeting. Yes. A very important big meeting. February 24th, 6 p.m. Hillmore again. Yep. Yeah. The, and the, actually the and Wrigley conference. and yeah. the, you know South Lake Shore Drive and rerouting um, you know the Bigfoot Beach uh, Highway. Yeah. No, it might be a full house. We got we oh, got to sure we got to get in there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's all I have. Okay. Anything I think else? that's it. We're gonna wrap it up. Have a great day. I'm Lisa Otto. John Lipkowski. And George Blushy Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Bye. Bye.